Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So... Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. The other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. If you just use comments, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it! Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they used night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark! I mean, in reality, that so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene! Allow me to cut through those words! It's just as Mayu said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! If the irons in the storage room caused them, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to keep the irons caused the blackout. Then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? The people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blood if the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words! I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. A hole? What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? No, that's wrong! Will you be able to break through my argument? Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! Oh! 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 Whoa! What the hell are you even saying, you Cutter hit? He said, um... Oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hit? I guess... We have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. Unforgivable! 
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Miss Hilton! Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! Where would the weapon be? This is the end! Yoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. decided that yet. Hey, Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! <laughs> if Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it! She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through those words. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? I see! Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. In theory, then, that's impossible. What? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try thinking one bottle drink is simply wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words! Do you have anything to say? Hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Who you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard? I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! 
If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! This is the end! Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good one. But, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to- Ha! Ah, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just about one minute. Did you see a nice nightmare? As long as Ibuki's body has no open wounds, there's no doubt that that blood is Hyoko's. Hyoko was taped to the pillar, yes that it's possible that the pillar still had blood on it. However, you cannot step on the pillar with your feet! <laughs> you should feel proud of yourself. It's been nearly three years since I've had to use 60% of my power. Damn it! You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs? Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the... Allow me to cut through those words! You can the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like... I won't lose! Are you saying my gut was wrong? This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? No, th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. <laughs> Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono was all- There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Allow me to cut through those words! So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? 
That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! I'll keep explaining it until you forgive me! That bag is a limited item! <laughs> For anyone to pull off. This chick, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? See? That means it could have passed at the exact same place, right? And so then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building. Bow down! Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While well, we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, but we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. many different ways the body and the pillar could have been moved the pillar could have been rolled and Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece I decree it was Monokuma's doing moving the body and the pillar in such a short time that might be hard even for Monokuma don't you think it seems you have forgotten Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the future of the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. The killer tied up Mekamaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode, tied the tip of the wire into a knot, and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower and suspended Mekamaru in midair. That's right! He was so well hung! <laughs> Kinda like... You better not finish that sentence! The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekomaru could fall to his death. Too easy! So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in mid-air like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in mid-air, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. The 
it doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekamaru fell on his own? Nekamaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Allow me to cut through those words. The third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Infinity Unlimited Flame! However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? There's no way they didn't know. That is merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. <laughs> if you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. There's no way I can stop. Don't. Did you say? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I already proved the secret passage exists. The secret passage was at the Octagon. Know the limits of your own reasoning! You say the killer went to the Octagon? Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of blind confusion, at least pray to the key which dwells in the light! Know the limits of your own reasoning! You say the killer went to the Octagon? Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of- Allow me to cut through those words! Those words? You said I pressed Nekomaru's goodnight button. However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. It's not easy to get the drop on Coach Nekomaru. It's even more difficult if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Just as I thought. Truly frail. Succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. That's wrong, Daniel. You're the one who's wrong. <laughs> Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Listen well. I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. And as for the other, you must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! Show me the cadaver! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! It's Nekobaru's back! Do you really think I can get behind him so easily? This is the end! But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared! Ah, I just realized it! It's a trap! A trap? Stupid Hajime! You got caught in that trap! Like 
you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you obviously assume he couldn't talk. But that was the trap! He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how first the killer took and got information about then after they killed him. Allow me to cut through those words. She's not disguised at all. Cause Chiaki isn't the traitor. Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Ch Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I did not want to hear that! Enough already! Please do not say another word! I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. And just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki. That it was fake beforehand! Tell me, Mikoto Naegi, who are you? Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie! I I'm not asking you! I'm asking... You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! I can't hear you! Better luck next time! What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you! Your 
You're getting all riled up! What, what are you even talking about? Enough already! That's impossible! Proof, proof, proof! Are you sure about this? I'm not listening! You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! This is the end! It won't just be hope. There will probably be a lot of despair, too. I don't know what kind of future awaits us. But our futures are ours! I won't let anyone take them! Huh? Who the hell are you? I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. <laughs> Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata! You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. Let's finish this already. There's no need for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. If you do that, this game is going to continue. If you don't want that, just turn off the game. Even so, I... You don't have to look at the hopeless future. I'll never let anyone choose again! I don't want anything! You have no argument! There's no hope! Just give up already! A miracle won't happen. This, this crappy feeling. I don't want anything. Mizuru! You have no argument. The future will make you suffer. Just give up already. You're not hope! You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. No, that's, that's wrong. wrong.